Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a natural makeup look. I'm just gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna use my AOA Studio uh, lip balm in the strawberry scent. Then I gotta move some stuff around. Sunscreen, of course. Free of chemical sunscreen uh, from Bear Republic. And when I say I'm gonna do a natural makeup, I mean a natural makeup, like very natural. Like probably not gonna do any shimmer on the eye it's probably gonna be just a matte eyeshadow look which for me is something i pretty much never do because i love shimmer but i'm doing this uh, for um kind of an audition type thing And I just think that going with a very, very natural makeup is the right way to go for this role. So that's why I'm doing this. And I just figured I'd film it. I am also going to work today. And I'm planning on finally buying something for the Sephora sale. Then primer, I'm going to be doing a full face today, so I'm going to use this spray primer. Just shake it first. And this is the Wet n Wild Jungle Rock Bretman 3-in-1 Face Mist. So I'm using it as a priming spray. Hmm. And then I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess I'll just play Tetris for a little bit. Ooh. Man, Tetris is hard. Okay. Alright, so it's set a little bit, uh, dried down. Um, okay. Next would be concealer. I'm going to be using a lighter foundation today. Um, and from my experience, I don't know, my concealer that I tried to use with it isn't light enough, or so people have told me. I'm wondering if I should just ignore that and just use it anyway. I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna use this concealer, whatever. Okay. Would have been smart to clean my brushes for this, but didn't think about that, did I? Nope. So, just gotta wipe my other concealer off this brush. <laughs> Should be fine, hopefully. All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Tarte C Power Flex in Light Sand. The other one I have is a lot more dark. So, and this is a huge applicator, so I'm just going to do a dot. Is that enough? Is that too little? I don't know. I'm just going to roll with it. And then the foundation I'm going to use is the Ciate London Extraordinary Foundation in Shell. This packaging makes it look lighter than the foundation actually is because it's a light pink. But, and I think, I'm just feeling wild today. I think we're going to use a different brush than what I usually use. I'm going to use this. I've actually never used this, clearly. This is a Sugar Rush brush. I really want to try it out. Okay. I'm just going to tap. So 
So I'm trying to just tap, tapping more in the areas where I feel like I want more coverage. Yeah, my concealer is too dark. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. such a problem. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little more of foundation here. Just because now it's uneven. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. Setting powder for under the eyes, NARS. Uh, Translucent light reflecting setting powder in crystal. gonna go through my brows okay. I'm gonna use the uh, Wonder Drawing Brow Cara by Holika Holika in Ash Brown mix with the eye primer Use the ColourPop Party Proof Eye Primer in Translucent. It's social suicide. For the palette, I was going to use uh, this uh, Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio in Nudie Pick Light. This is about as natural as you can get for an eyeshadow palette, I think. It has three colors. They're all matte. Yeah, I'm probably only going to use two of these colors. Just one on the lid and one on the crease. Okay. So I'm going to take the lightest shade, vanilla, and put that all over my lid. I'm gonna take a crease brush and use the middle shade called Sable, this one, and put that in my crease. Wow, that made a big difference actually. I suppose if you want to stay more natural, you probably shouldn't do this part. Now for the eyeliner, I was thinking of using a black liquid eyeliner, but now that I think about it, it's probably better to go with a brown pencil liner. That's probably more natural. I'm going to use this Disney Ulta Beauty Dual Ended Eyeliner, and I'm going to use the deep brown side. This is my only pencil brown eyeliner. Well, it's my only brown eyeliner. I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm going to sharpen it, I think. Yeah, I should sharpen it. I'm going to do attempt to do very small wings. So like barely just past my crease. It's a little baby. Okay, the other side. If I had brown mascara, I probably would use that, but I don't. So gonna be black. It's gonna be the same mascara I always use. I'm gonna curl my lashes first with my Shu Uemura eyelash curler. Alright, I'm gonna take my Milani highly rated lash extensions tubing mascara. For bronzer, I'm going to use the lightest bronzer I have, which is, pretty sure it was this one, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Longwear Matte Bronzer. It smells like chocolate. It smells so good. I'm going to very lightly put this on. For blush, I did not think through, so I have to think about that. I think I'll do this one. 
um, this is Fairy Flush Amazonia Clay 12 Hour Blush um, from Tarte. It's a nude. For highlights, again, I didn't think about it either. I think I'll go with this one. This is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle uh, Nude Pink Powder. It's the highlighter. Figure going nude is probably a good way to go. All right, and last thing is lipstick. Oh, let me line my lips first. That's kind of important. NYX uh, Professional Makeup the Pencil in Nude Pink. Now I'm going to use Pink Honey. This is it. My natural makeup.